Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. And uh, today, we're going to talk about the new third character revealed in Sonic Forces. And that is a character that you can customize. Sorry all about that. Um, a character that you can actually customize. And right now, when people saw this, there's already been a lot of jokes about the game being called Sonic DeviantArt. Bruh. This is crazy. Like, I would have never expected, like, to make your own custom character. Because, you know, a lot of people have been speculating that it could be, like, a custom character. And, yeah, they were right the whole time. They were, they were right. And, yeah. You know, I'm actually pretty excited about this new feature. Even some people say it's really <laughs> a weird thing because you know if if you make sonic ocs or something like that you might be like i was much on a shot i can make my own oc and i create it on paper and I get it get it on the sonic game all right <laughs> but yeah it's pretty cool like i have to say it is a pretty cool feature like playing as your own character like tell me as that isn't cool like a lot of games recently have been doing this like the Dragon Ball Z franchise has been doing it. Uh, I think the WWE games has been doing it too. So what a surprise that Sega did it too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a surprise, man. Like I've never expected this. When I saw the trailer, bro, it was just <laughs> I was just like, okay. This is gonna be a. I already know there's gonna be like a lot of jokes about deviant around this. It's even people putting that. It's not called Sonic Forces anymore. It's called Sonic Deviant. <laughs> yeah, I expected that third character to be just like a uh, third character. I guess, but no, it's just a custom custom character. And you were saying, well, it must be just a normal custom character, you know, like. I mean, he has the same mechanic as Sonic. Actually, he has power, like, these gadgets that are pretty cool. He has, like, a gravity hook type of thing. That's actually pretty cool. Stuff like that. And he almost, and as I see, they have, like, like, some weapons, too. They have, like, weapons. Like, if you see the guy who's, like, a wolf with the microphone type of thing there, uh, he has, like, a flamethrower. Because he's like shooting fire, he's like a flame door. It was it's kind of like Shadow the Edge, you can say, with the guns and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, you can pick certain different animals. There's a bunny rabbit, um, a bird, a dog, a wolf. Is that a wolf? I'm like, yeah, I think it's a wolf. Uh, the guy that they can customize themselves. Um. What else is it? There's the bird. I think I already said the bird. And there's, of course, the, the hedgehog. Like, of course. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they all have different abilities. Like, um, the bird can do a double jump. That's pretty cool. I think if, they, if it's the bird character, I think I want them to better be, like, I don't know, a glide or something. Or, like, a fly ability. But that would be, like, 2 P. Just, like, about for three seconds and it gets tired, like, tails. Because they didn't want to do that. Just a double jump. Yeah, so kids it does different effects and different things. Like, um, I don't know, like, uh, one of the animals, I think it was the dog, I think. I, I don't remember if it was the dog or not, uh, but one of the animals that you, can, that you can customize is that when you get hit, you, when you get hit, um, you, you save up one ring. Like, it's like when you get hit, you lose rings, but it keeps you one ring. That's actually pretty useful. And uh, maybe costs you more or less deaths. And there's a lot of custom options, I guess. There's like a lot of custom options. Like if you see from the Avatar building, there is a lot of, you know, customization you can put on your character and stuff. And we get like some new gameplay from Mario Sonic, him gliding, uh, grinding on the rail. The problem of me seeing him grinding on the rail is basically he's going he's going really, really slow, I have to say. 
Like maybe in in Sonic Forces, you have to build up speed to go faster in the grinds, or maybe it's because it's like they, they're still de de developing the game. And you know, since they developed the game, developing the game, like it must be still like they haven't done that function yet. But I'm gonna guess this is because uh, because you need to like speed up to go to there. I think that makes more legit sense. But I like the new gadget, you know? And I like the character that Sega did himself with this freaking <laughs> dang fox type of thing. I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's a wolf or something. No, I think that's a fox. Um, the f this freaking microphone. Um, yeah, I think that's a fox. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. And so that was like the guy who appeared in that trailer. When I first saw it, I thought <laughs> it was a dang cat. Hey, hey, let's just agree that the, the Dirk, let's just, let's just, let's just thank Sega it wasn't Bubsby. Let's just thank Sega it wasn't Bubsby. <laughs> thank Lord <laughs> that Sega didn't make it Bubsby. <laughs> Imagine to be like, it's Bubsby, everybody. <laughs> I'll just be freaking like, nope, <laughs> nope, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And it has some, like, really good personality. Uh, personality. Um, one, some things I want to talk about it is, will you be able to, like, like, name your character? Like, I'm not sure, but that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I can see, like, a lot of mods for the PC version for this custom thing. Like, they can do, like, custom hats and custom, like, freaking hands and stuff. So I have, like, a freaking... I don't know, like mighty horns. Just do like a mod with mighty horns. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Imagine the mods for Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Is Sonic Mania coming for? I don't remember if Sonic Mania is actually coming. For P yeah, yeah, yeah. It is coming for a PC. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. But I'm gonna be buying Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces for the Nintendo Switch, anyways. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys uh, have a fun time just um, making your own OCs, original characters come to life, man. Yeah, but this is a there's a lot of customable options I have to say. Like, I think they went really in depth with this. Uh, some YouTubers and some people are saying that that I guess the game is not gonna have CGI cutscenes because if it's gonna have CGI cutscenes, if your custom character in it. Then they had to like, like get the character and put every single body part of it and every single animal of it. But if Sega has to, you know, like, like in every cutscene, your character will show up and it has to have the clothes that you put on the character. So Sega has to spend like time, work, animated, animating it, so like that. But. It's just, I don't know, maybe they might do it if they have the time. Of course, I'll, I'll feel pretty lazy with that. Okay, okay now, I'm, I'm just lazy to anime all of these, man. <laughs> and there's a lot of custom options, I have to say. Like, <laughs> you, even have a, you even have a freaking Vegeta Raider, sc Raider scanner. <laughs> this, we even have a freaking Vegeta Raider scanner. Wait, let me show you guys. Right there. <laughs> they even have a freaking, like, scanner from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> You know, I like I I would, I, would, I would like people trying to like make characters from like different franchises in Sonic Forces. That would be like really awesome. When there's a game where you can create your own character or something, there's a lot of people that are gonna create like characters from different franchises from it. Example: Sonic, uh, not Sonic, um, Skylanders Imagineers. People have done like a lot. For that's like they made Sonic and stuff like that. It almost has a lot of body parts. And almost yeah, it's like maybe they might be able to create characters like on Mario or something like that. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um. What I really sh I should think that it should be in the story is that Tails created the gadgets for the customizable character. That will actually make more legit sense because if you just create your customable character, your custom character, 
and just like come out with this weapon. So like, I got these out of nowhere, man. You see this freaking flamethrower? I got it out of nowhere. Yeah, you see this machine gun? I got it out of nowhere. You see, you see this, you see this PlayStation Five? I got it out of nowhere. PlayStation Five. <laughs> I wonder how a PlayStation Five will work. Yeah. But um. What I was about to say is, uh, you know, I think it will make more sense if Tails give the gadgets to these guys. It's like the custom characters. And yeah, that will make a lot more sense because, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, okay, these guys are geniuses too for some reason. These guys are geniuses. These guys are geniuses, man. <laughs> yeah, but we haven't seen any characters like Tails and Sonic Forces, so that's pretty weird because so far the only characters that's been announced for Sonic Forces has been Knuckles, I think Amy, and the Chaotix. And they haven't said nothing about Tails yet. Like, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Are they going to leave out Tails in this game? The Tails die? I swear if Tails die. <laughs> nah, they will never die. Even uh, if some people hate Tells, Tells, Tells is my boy, man. <laughs> Tells is an awesome guy. Yeah, you know, basically, there's nothing else to talk about. So, yeah, this custom, let's see how this custom character creation is going to work out when the game comes out. See you guys later. Bye.